Hello dear students, welcome to Exeomathicos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2016. So we are here with this problem 2 of your paper. This problem is a problem from linear algebra. So let us firstly have a look. Let P be the vector space over R of all polynomials of degree less than or equal to 3 with real coefficient. Consider the linear transformation T from P to P defined by this T of A0, A1, A2, A3, X cube is equal to this thing. Alright. Then the matrix representation M of T with respect to the ordered basis. So we have an ordered basis for which we have to find out the matrix representation and also we have to see which of these properties that matrix representation will satisfy all right so uh, i will begin by just writing your p so see what we have here we are on a vector space with polynomials up to three degree all right now t is a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube which is equal to a3 plus a2x plus a1x square plus a0x cube so this is your transformation all right now what you have to do you have to find out the matrix so I will tell you the procedure how to find out a matrix with respect to a given transformation. Okay. So firstly, see this thing that you have basis one x x square x cube on the left hand side. Similarly, you have basis one x x square x cube on the right hand side. Okay. So sometimes it may change. It may happen that they are considering the basis this over this space and some other basis over this space are you getting my point they may not be same that's why i'm writing them again but sometimes it, they may be different all right so what we actually do we just pick a element from here okay and then just try to write this element as a linear combination of these all right so alpha dot one it's alpha dot one all right it's beta dot x plus gamma x square plus delta x cube. What I have done, I have written the linear combination of these. Now what I will do, I will find out the values of alpha, beta, gamma and delta. All right. So see T of 1. So you see if you have a constant, then what uh, this, this transformation actually map it with x cube. Now in this one in this uh, entry here we have a1 a2 a3 equal to 0 but a0 is 1 so a0 is 1 therefore you will get x cube and these all will be 0 so you have this x cube here now by comparing the coefficient we can actually find out that alpha will be 0 beta will be 0 gamma will be 0 delta will be 1 so this alpha, beta, gamma, delta plays an important role in the matrix. So alpha, beta, gamma, delta are actually the entries of your column 1. All right. So you have 0, 0, 0, 1. This as your entry. So T of uh, what is the second entry in the basis? It's X. So in this case, you have A0, 0 a1 non 0 a1 is 1 right and a2 a3 0 so a1 of x that means it will be mapped with a1 of x square so you will get only x square and all the remaining thing will be 0 so again write this element as a linear combination of the element in this basis so you got alpha by comparing the coefficient I am suggesting okay alpha is 0 beta is 0 gamma is 1 and delta is 0 are you getting my point what I am doing here I am just comparing the coefficient all right so this will be x now you can easily check so what you will get now 
you will get zero zero uh, i should write one all right since beta is one so one zero zero and in the last one if you will check you can check that yourself you will get this all right you can check x cube image of x cube also and you will get one over here that's why i am writing this so this is actually written as t with respect to bb since b this these two bases are same on the left side also and on the right hand side also that's why i'm writing bb it may happen that you have to write b1 b2 in case the basis is different so this is your m all right now if you will square this m try to do this calculation yourself you will get identity matrix of four order that means m square minus i4 is actually zero so from here we can directly mark b as the correct answer are you getting my point d is incorrect c is incorrect a is incorrect so this is how we can solve a question it is very easy okay writing a transform writing a matrix for a given transformation is a very easy task nothing uh, was given nothing it was uh, nothing was difficult in this question all right so thank you